Many of you guys are able to win another series. This is the 10th series victory in a row going back to August in last year. You were a part of each one of those. Does it feel like it's been that long or because it's a new season, does everything kind of start fresh? Oh, no, it's definitely a new season. Uh, we don't we don't look at it last year at all. But uh, like you said, we concentrate on just winning the series, not winning every game, win the series, do what you can to, uh, to get to the next game. Before we talk too much about tonight's game, I want to go back to last night, the ring ceremony. How cool was that, and did you enjoy seeing some of the old players come back? Oh, man, that's something special. Uh, not a lot of guys have had the opportunity to experience something like that. And uh, to have some of the old guys come back, that was just icing on the cake. You came into a game today in a situation you've been in multiple times, but the way you got out of it today with the game already tied, two runners on, nobody out, you strike out three hitters in the middle of their lineup. What was your mentality coming in, and how did you approach facing especially the leadoff guy, a former teammate of yours, Victor Diaz? Um, well, <clears throat> they, they had just tied up the game there, and uh, I knew um, if, if they scratched across one more, two more, uh, you know, the momentum could really swing their way. And uh, but I also knew if I if I held them right there, then uh, that would give our team a big boost. And uh, me and Dino got on the same page, and uh, we worked together through it. And, um, and we ended up scratching across the rung in the next inning. So uh, it was a big, big momentum builder for our team. Seems like we talk about this every day, but the quality of this pitching staff that Kevin Hooper and Luke Robertson, Josh Robertson have put together. Have you seen anything like this at the start of the season, the way guys are dominating games? Oh, we got it. We got just talented arms everywhere you look. Um, and it, it's something special to watch because it's, it's a new guy every night uh, picking up the team. And um, when you have that, it's, it's, it's a good right. team effort. It's right. a fun watch. One more lighthearted question for you. Obviously, if we zoom out a little bit, you're pretty much swagged out in Florida State. Does that create any problems with your catcher, John Nestor, being from Clemson? Oh, not at all, because he knows who dad is. My name is all right, Benny, anybody you want to say hi to before we let you go? Yeah, I want to say hi to my parents. Uh, mom and dad back home, Sarah, Dave, Doug, Mary Beth, Benny, Morley, and my fiance, Katie. Tyler, you guys are able to win a series. This is the 10th straight series the Wingnuts have won going back to last year. I know you've only been a part of these first three in 2015. How much fun are you having playing in the same city as where you started your college career? Oh, man, it's a great time uh, getting to see faces I haven't seen for a while and learning from a lot of older guys that know a lot more about baseball than I do. Is this the first time you've had sort of this role where you're not sure when you'll be playing or what position or what spot in the order you're going to be hitting? Um, yeah, this actually is the first time I've played this role, but I'm glad to do it. Glad to catch pins. Glad to warm somebody up. But get my shot off. Take the best of it. What is the key for a guy like that who, you know, sometimes you're catching in the bullpen. You might come on to pinch hit later. You may start the next day. How do you stay ready? Just be ready to do anything all day. I've got all four of my gloves down in the dugout at all times. Ready to do anything. You have caught a number of bullpens, so you've seen this pitching staff up close and personal. In the games, we know what they're doing. But how are these guys to catch, and what is it that makes them so tough? Oh, man, down in the bullpen, they're they're just getting loose down there. They're letting it fly, but they, they know what they're doing. They've been around the game a lot longer than I have, and I trust what they're doing. I'm sure it felt good to get your first RBI as a wing nut today. With the infield drawn in, you're able to hit one hard on the ground to the right side. Was that the plan? And that at bat hit it hard through the infield. Right, that's, I mean, that's always that was my approach all day. Was trying to go the other way with it, and uh, they brought the infield in, made it a little bit easier on me. We go up north for the first time now, Fargo, and then Lincoln. Are you excited to see a couple of different parts of the country and different uh, parks? Yeah, it should be a lot of fun going up there. I've never been up to North Dakota. Should be fun. Hopefully, it's not that cold. Before we let you go, anybody you want to say hi to, Todd? Uh, my friends, family from Wichita, and uh, my brothers, 